So let me now move to the next point. Now we'll talk about classification of a payment. Now when we want to make a payment, the payment could be of multiple types. One of the types is a single payment. I want to make a payment to Alok in this class. So that would be a single payment being made from me to Alok. I send a single instruction to my bank. My bank executes that single instruction and that single instruction will be ultimately carried to the beneficiary who is Alok in our example. In that situation then, there'll be a payment message created carrying a single payment instruction to pay one single beneficiary in my example Alok. And in that case then, the mechanisms which are available to move that payment is some messaging like Swift MT103. It carries only one single credit transfer. Or in USA currently, the Fedwire 1000, which again carries a single payment. So a single payment for us would mean that a payment transaction in which only one beneficiary is expected to be paid. In addition to the single payment, you could have bulk payment. Now bulk payment would be a payment message carrying multiple payment instructions to simultaneously pay multiple beneficiaries. Now, what could be such example? One simple example of that could be Infosys making a payment of salaries to its thousands of employees. Instead of sending thousands of individual payment instructions to the bank, payment messages to the bank, what Infosys can do is upload a file in a bank, and in that file, we'll have all those thousands of employees' details given, the name of the employees, the bank with which they have the account, the account number of that employee, the date of that payment, the amount of that payment. And now once we upload this from Infosys into a system, the system will then carry out the payment transaction. With one go, it will be paying multiple beneficiaries simultaneously. Now in such a situation, what kind of message structure can we use, which can be used to make those multiple payments in single go? One example of such a message is the Swift MT102, or in India or in USA, you would have the files which are submitted to the ACH. So we have an example here of the US NACHA file format. If you are from UK, then you'll have the UK back file, or in single euro payment area, we'll have the step two SEPA credit transfer file. And in that situation then, we'll use the respective automated clearinghouses like back in UK, or the National Automated Clearinghouse in India, or the uh, ACHS in USA who operate under the National Automated Clearinghouse Association, the NACHA is the banner under which all the ACHS would be operating. Then to summarize, we have bulk payments, which will move through the automated clearinghouses. The third type of payment which we will have is an instant payment. Many of us today want to be paid or we especially want to receive the payment as fast as possible. In that situation then, I would use a mechanism where if I want to make a payment to Alok, using such an instant payment system, I should be able to pay the parties on the other side. So if I'm in UK, I may use something like faster payment, where instantaneously my payment moves to Alok. If I use the RTP, the real-time payment system in USA, Again, here, within a couple of seconds, the money will move to the other side. If I'm in single Euro payment area, I'll have something like the RT1 or the target instant payment settlement system using which I could pay the other side immediately. And I, if I'm in India, I could use something like the IMPS, immediate payment service, using which, again, within a couple of seconds, my money moves from one side to the other side. And such payment systems will then carry a single payment within a few seconds by using some mechanism, some messaging structure, like the ISO 8583 or the ISO 222. To summarize then on this slide, if I have a single payment, I may use a system which carries only single payment, like the CHAPS in UK, CHIPS in United States, or Fedwire in United States, or maybe RTGS in India, or the NEFT in India. If I want to make bulk payment, large number of payments within one single instance, message, then I'll use the ACHS, automated clearing losses, where I could have the back, NAT, or the NACHA ACHS in uh, USA. And if I want to make a single instant payment, this typically would be small amounts, not large numbers. There'll be a restriction on the extent to which you can make a payment. For instance, if you're making a payment using the RTP in USA, a single payment cannot be of more than $100,000. Want to make a payment, let's say, in under IMPS in India, it cannot be more than 200,000 rupees, that is 2 lakhs of rupees in India. 
So these are our three different types of payments from the perspective of how many payments are we carrying in a single payment instruction and how fast are we going to make the payment. These bulk payments usually will be the slowest one to move, whereas the single payments, if we move them through the RTGS, like a chips or a feedback, could be faster and instant payment would also be faster.